Hello and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Let's play Creatures 2 Torture Trouble. Or Clyde Radcliffe in Torture Trouble. An APEC computer productions for the Commodore 64. Good times, people. Okay, so this is very belated. Uh, I didn't actually realise this. Uh, I had a look when I uploaded the original Creatures and uh, that was in February. And we're now in November. I'm putting this down to being four months without a decent computer or one that I had bought to do this stuff. Um, that's my excuse and I'm sticking with it. As a result, we've got a brand new setup here. I'm uh, a little rusty, you'll have to forgive me. But I feel like we're going to get uh, a few more LPs out there. And uh, yeah, we'll carry on as we were. So. Creatures 2, very different game to Creatures 1, and if you've not seen Creatures 1, I highly recommend that you go check it out, it's a real, real good game. But uh, Creatures 2, it focuses mostly on torture screens, as well as some evil, evil padding bits. Sias does not like those padding bits, no, 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 you're not the one, no, not the one. So, um, yeah, we stay away from those. I might show them off briefly, but uh, might be skipping a lot of them. Just, it's not going to be fun to watch. Okay, tip bit for everyone here. Prove that I actually used to have the original uh, game here. On this bit here with the credits, a Clyde in the background. Where the pins used to go in, we used to connect the joystick. My Speed King or my, uh, my, uh, what was it? Mega Drive, Mega Drive or Genesis Pad. Yeah, if you used to wiggle your finger over like port one, um, you basically get Maximus Mouse, like another Thalamus or Apex production like creature, like mascot. And if you did it enough, all the fuzzies in the background would kind of glow and you get infinite lives. So, there you go. You can thank me by playing the game or something. Not that I'm going to play the game for you already, right here, right now. Shut up, Sass. Anyway, let us begin. Great music in this game, as you can imagine, just like the uh, the first one. Okay, so stage one. Get ready for torture screen number one. Pressed for time. Okay. Okay, so just like on Creatures 1, we've got Clyde on the right there. And it is a torture screen, so there's no scrolling of any sorts on this. We've got a drooper shot, and that's it. And our fabled flame breath. And we've got an Acme Press. Yeah. If you've not worked out how this one ends, you've got no imagination. No imagination. So, let's kill that guy. Shoot the bomb down there. The potion gave us a... Ooh, what did it give us? Oh yeah, the wiggly woggly shot. So, um, weapons don't actually get better in this uh, game. They don't go to green and then blue, and there's no witch at a shop. Ah, not quite as good, I'm afraid, but it's still a fun game in its own right. It's just, it's not creatures, you know? It's not really, it's a different game altogether, in truth. Just based on the same premise. So, let's let the bomb up. And it would be remiss of me if I didn't let my fuzzy friend here die a most tragic, horrible death. So... Let's see, can I kill that guy? No! No I can't! Uh, save me. I I'll get you up, man. I it's okay, I got you. Um, here we go, press E to get you up, maybe? Uh, uh, no. Uh, uh, oh, nasty. Alright, come on, let's try that again. Right. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't show that off. Right. It's all about timing. As you go through, some of these uh, torture screens do get surprisingly difficult. And you'll just have to wait and see. As always though, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't show off every single one of the deaths, so... Don't be surprised if lives magically reappear at 100%. 
because I'm probably going to lose a few mans. Okay, so this guy, the way to stop him is to leave at the back. You've just got a very well-timed shot just before you're about to pull him up to the conveyor. But he's got one final act of revenge, which I thought was quite comical. He's going to cycle at you. Very good. Alright! Well done! Stage 1 completed. Like bonus. 2 times 200. Oh, you see, there's something so hypnotic about the colours in this. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Now, this is the interlude stage. This is the most. Ugh. Alright, so. I think it's just probably easy to show you, so let's just try. Okay, so here we go. The whole premise of this, you got to save our fuzzies and send them over to the other side on the spring pad um, of such. And we've got the big bird at the top there who will undoubtedly grab our fuzzies and send them back. We, as we go through these, the only thing that changes is the difficulty of the bird and the background. That's it. Now the bonus things, the B coins, if you get all five of them, that equals one extra life. Oh, what a shame, I accidentally dropped him, he broke his head. <clears throat> yeah, so. Yeah, I, I probably will be skipping these. They're not really all that much fun. And as you might have thought, the bird catching them maybe have ripped them in two or something, being creatures this game. But no, no, it's uh, no. They're not going to do that. They just send them all the way back to the log at the top there. How droll! I'm sure this was a good idea at the time, but oh Jesus. It's not good! Alright, let's get this over and done with. Okay, so yeah, I probably will just show maybe the screen and then move on in the future. So, just to save the LP just being monotonously boring. Anyway, so I'm probably going to just go get my lives back. Be one second. And now, with the power of video editing, I have more lives and a higher score. Because I did go back and I have replayed them. Because I think it was essential to keep our lives high. Because you don't know how much I suck. So, let's continue. Stage 3. Torture screen number 2. It's no problem. This is... Awesome! I love the music on this more than anything, but eh, we'll see. Anyway, let's continue. So, lovely snow effect. I could never get over that. How pretty it looks. Okay, so we've got an invincible flying balloonist who will drop some um, snowballs on me. We've got a bird over a flame pit, a fuzzy on a rope, a crocodile, and an Acme Snowballs machine. So, I think people may have seen where this one's going. That crocodile's getting awfully close. Oh, you see, the fuzzies don't have names anymore. I can't turn around and say Chad or, you know, Chip or Spank or whatever I decided to call them off the LP. Uh, yeah, they're just going to just be Acme fuzzies these days, which is a shame. Let's, um, let's just see. Ooh, ooh, oh, that's nasty. Everybody loses, all bets are off. Right, okay. So, what you need to do, get the boulder close to the edge there. Okay, then you've got to fly onto the bird at exactly the right point, 
wiggle the joystick, joypad, controller, whatever. Move the boulder to the far end there. Push it into the machine. Wait for him to splat. Fall in and go to the right and get the hidden bonus screen. Yeah. Hidden bonus screen, people. So, this one is a case of collecting all the smiley faces and staying away from the ones that shake their heads. Sort of, but you've got to spot it. I don't think I've ever cleared these things out completely, but uh, finding these uh, bonus rooms were particularly difficult. Oh, you sod. Right, let's see if we can get this. Oh, there we go, I can pull this back. Wonder if there's anything for getting a perfect. That'd be nice. Down we go. Ooh, really? Oh, you sod. Okay, fine. Fine, fine. It doesn't matter. Anyway, let's move on. Oh no! It's another interlude stage. Guess what? I win. No, really. Skip! So, we won! We we did! We, we won! We, we wouldn't be seeing this uh, Live 7 business. <clears throat> yeah, moving on. Okay, so, next we've actually got a, a demon fight. And they are like six shades of awesome. They're really fun. Now this is the, the other bit of the game that I really quite like next to the torch screens. So uh, we're going to meet the Blubber family. Haha, <laughs> witty. So we've got Clyde at the bottom here. Uh, and he can kick these uh, green things. These green slimes. And uh, depending you can switch which pipe they're going to come out of. And of course the premise is then to welly the ball, the ball, the slime, wee, into the uh, the appropriate tube and uh, kill them. Now, this ah, does get surprisingly difficult later on, and I expect to lose plenty of lives to it. Ha 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 good old booger mat, okay. You've killed my brother, so I'm going to kill you! I have no idea what type of accent that was. Still, let's do! So, of course, he's a bit bigger and a bit harder. But, of course, the nice, simple patterns. Yoink! Oh, heck, what am I? Week. Of course, the bigger they are, then the easier they are to hit. Magnificent. For the Blubber family, they don't really show much of it so far, but... It, oh my god! My kids are dead because of you! Prepare to die! <laughs> right. I've completely forgotten this guy's... Uh, uh, attack pattern. And I can't remember how to hurt him. Oh, there we go. Easy now. Stay between the blobs of something. Cool music once again, guys. If you haven't already, you should download the SID of this. One more, I think. Two more, three more, fine. Call me a liar. Eat it! Woo! And a potion for my efforts. Alright. I think that's probably going to wrap up the time that we've got for the first one. Uh, we'll continue on with some scuba on the next video. So until then, this is Cyrus signing off.